Margaret, what is something about nuns, faith, anything relevant to the film that you didn't know? Hmm, that's a good question. I think, well, I'm not really uh, religious. I'm not religious in life. I, I think I'm spiritual, but I, I, I'm not Christian by any means. And so it gave me an opportunity to to learn about Catholicism and you know read the Bible for the first time. And then there was a lot about being a nun that I just had no idea were, um, you know, as far as like abiding by all of the rules in place to limit any sort of extraneous stimulation, like custody of the eyes and not being able to touch anybody and not being able to talk freely ever and um, ideally communicating through sign language and, um, you know, not talking at all during grand silence. All of these things were foreign to me and um, much more extreme than I anticipated. But, yeah. Maggie, for you? What was that, what, like what, something I learned that I didn't, yeah. through the process? I mean, no, you read a lot of nun bios. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think, the, I think the biggest, biggest, biggest thing that you learn, which may come across as like the simplest and the most obvious too, is like that nuns are extremely complex, complicated women with lots of layers to their personalities, lots of internal struggles. I think, you know, the, the image of nuns that we have in society um, is kind of this very one-dimensional, like, like just almost like a, like a, like an image, not a person. And what I, you know, what I learned from reading is like these are really complicated women, like that are dealing with like really complicated day in day out struggles. And it, you know, the same as every woman I know. Another thing that Maggie talks about a lot is about how uh, literal the relationship is between nuns and uh, God, and that's something that I was uh, unaware of as well. I didn't realize, I think what was so exciting about this project was the opportunity to have, you know, God be my boyfriend, essentially. <laughs> like, she wanted it to feel like first love, and um, in the moments where Kathleen's praying, she wants it to be like, I was talking to my boyfriend in bed with me, and I didn't realized that nuns uh, felt so passionately about, we I know mean, obviously they felt passionate, but I didn't realize that it was as romantic as it is. Do you think faith today in and outside of the church is stronger in today's culture or not as strong? It depends what you define faith as. I mean, there are, today in the United States, for example, there are more people who identify as um, more people who do, no, who do not identify with any religious background, but do identify as spiritual. And that population is increasing and increasing and increasing. And the population of people who feel attached, that attach their identity to an organized re, uh, religion is decreasing. So I think that like, I don't think there's, I think like seeking like some sort of connection or sense of something larger is like, absolutely like embedded within like the human DNA. It's like a huge part of the human condition. But the, the, but I think people are questioning whether they need the institution and the organization as much anymore. I know you studied a lot of books or you read a lot of books on nuns that had left um, either the church or maybe they kept with their faith. What was some of the, the similarities that you saw that you took away with from some of these nuns and their experiences? Post? Yeah, well, they were in, they had They had, exactly the same thing that I was just saying before. They had let go of their relationship with the church, but what they described as this sort of place of a spiritually evolved thing that they developed within themselves was so beautiful and so calm and at peace and without all the agitation and the, and the anxiety that they had in the novitiate or with the, in terms of their relationship with the church. But that came through a lot, this kind of like very Spirituality was still a huge part of their life, but they they left the church behind long since. 